Okay, second graders, we are going to work on our comprehension skills a little bit more today. We're going to read a passage and answer some questions to check for our understanding. It's important that we're learning to read lots of new words and sound out lots of new words, but it's also important that as you're reading, you're understanding what you're reading. You understand what the author is saying. So our passage today is called Ducks. That's the topic. It is by Tirza Tyler, and it has two paragraphs. This, this is number for us, which is super nice. But remember, a paragraph starts where the first sentence has the first word in that paragraph indented or scooched in a little bit. The rest of these sentences are all lined up. Also, sometimes a author might put a big space in between your paragraphs, which is helpful. But this has two different paragraphs that we're going to read to find out some information about ducks. So this is nonfiction text. I'm going to slow down and read it carefully, stopping at those punctuation marks so that I can get that information in my mind. I can visualize what the author is telling me. So I'm going to close off for now so that you can see all the words and questions and please follow along with me as I read. Ducks are a kind of bird. Ducks were made to live near water. Duck feathers have a special oil that helps ducks float. Ducks beaks are called bills. When some ducks eat, they dip their bills underwater. Their bills let the water pour out of their mouths, but leave food inside their mouths. This way of eating is called dabbling. There are different types of ducks around the world. Wood ducks live in North America. Pink ear ducks, which are also called zebra ducks, live in Australia. Mandarin ducks live in Asia and Europe. Mallard ducks make their home all over the world. So this first paragraph told me the characteristics of ducks, some things about the ducks and their characteristics. The second paragraph told me about different types of ducks, different species of ducks. True information in each paragraph. So let's look at the questions that we are going to answer today. The first question says, what helps a duck float? Now you may remember right away, but good readers check all their answer choices then find the support or the evidence up in their text. So choice A is the duck's bill. Does the duck's bill help the duck float? Choice B, oil on the feathers. Does that help the ducks float? Or C, living near the water? Think about which one helps a duck float. You have your answer in your head? Let's check and see if you're right. I hope you said oil on the feathers. Right here in paragraph one, I highlighted the sentence that proves I'm right, that's the evidence. Duck feathers have a special oil that helps ducks float. So you may have known that right away. Good readers always go back and check to make sure their answer is right, or if they're not sure, they go back and find the answer in the passage. Let's go to number two. What ducks live in North America? Now your eyes should go to paragraph two because the second paragraph was the paragraph that talked about the different species or types of ducks. So which one lives in North America? If you're struggling to read, look at the capital N on North, look at the capital A on America. Can you find a match up in that passage that can give you a helpful hint? I'll give everybody a minute to find it to think about which one. Is it A, zebra ducks? Is it B, mallard ducks? Or is it C, wood ducks? Let's see which one it is. It was wood ducks. And right there, I highlighted up in the passage, right here, 
the evidence that supports that I am right. Wood ducks live in North America. So good readers go back and check. Good readers go back and look if they're stuck. Remember as you're reading this week, slow down, think about what you're reading, visualize it, reread something if you're not sure what it said or meant to help build your comprehension. And it's even okay to read things more than once. So if you have time and you're at home, you could always read this passage again. I'll see you soon.